A college track athlete kidnapped, robbed, and gang raped by three strangers in Dallas continues to share her story of survival, working to inspire other victims to shed the stigma of rape. Fox Wars Deanna Zoga is at SMU with more on this young woman's mission. Well, hey, Clarice, you know, Monica Cora is on a mission right now, as you said, to continue telling her story. In 2009, three men kicked up, kidnapped her right off the street. She was leaving an off-campus party in East Dallas. They duct taped her eyes for nearly an hour and a half. They raped her. She was only a college sophomore at the time, an athlete here at SMU, studying on scholarship from her native Norway. But today she is 25 years old. She's written about her ordeal and letting other survivors know it's okay to talk about rape. Monica Cora describes December 5th, 2009 as the most horrific day of her life. Yet she's willing to share her case file and every terrible detail. And I had two people, two men grabbing me from behind and I had a gun to my head. She tells her story at conferences like this one in Dallas. I made myself a promise right after that. This will not destroy me and when I do that, I have to keep it and to journalists turning down offers to conceal her identity, instead asking the news to show her name and her face. It's not sex. No. It has nothing to do with sex. It's just action of power. Because, she says, she has nothing to be ashamed or afraid of. Society tells us that it is somehow our fault. It's what we had on, it's where we were, we were walking alone, we were inviting it, we drank too much. But the, the reason we got raped is because someone raped us. Jan Langbein of the Genesis Women's Shelter believes Monica's approach will save lives. Statistics vary depending on the study, but by all accounts, researchers agree most sexual assaults don't get reported. The Rape Abuse Incest National Network estimates that 98% of rapists won't spend a day in jail. When someone stands up and says, I have the courage to do this, that's the beauty of it, because other people will stand up as well. Monica made the decision to speak out after testifying in the trials that led to the convictions of her three rapists. Two of them are serving life sentences in Texas prisons, a third 25 years. In the end, yeah, that's, they got us to serve, then I got my life back. And now Monica's life has gone on. She chronicled her survival in a book and writes about the feelings of guilt and shame that can haunt someone who's been sexually assaulted. She says she hopes her story will help others kill the silence. My hope is that we will come to a place in our society where we stand up and say, that was not my fault and that there is help and there is hope. So Jan Langbein there says that Monica's story can also survive, help survivors of of other crimes, including domestic abuse. She's saying those crimes also uh, usually shrouded in, in secrecy for some of the victims. Monica, as we mentioned, is an SMU alum. She is talking about her book here tomorrow at Moody Coliseum at 6.30 in the evening, once again, sharing her story. Clarice. Deanna, what else is Monica working on? Well, Monica is uh, also heading up a foundation that she started that is geared toward uh, helping survivors of sexual assault. She travels the country. She speaks to, to different groups and uh, college students. Uh, recently, she was speaking to some, some groups of the U.S. Army as well when she was visiting uh, in Alaska. She uh, will also be with us here at uh, Fox 4 on Good Day, first thing tomorrow morning, once again, uh, sharing her story. But we mentioned, you know, she's from Norway, but she decided after all this to stay in Dallas. She finished and she graduated with her degree at SMU and considers Dallas here her home base. Back to you. She is powerful and courageous, Deanna. Thank you.